Uh, I think we have a, a, a serious uh, problem in the sense that we expect uh, so much out of uh, the elections and out of new administrations in the U.S. And I'm not saying things will not change, but I think there is a consistency in U.S. policy that will not be subverted simply by the coming to power, even, uh, uh, even of a, a personality such as Donald Trump. Uh, the uh, what will change, I think, is not uh, necessarily the best way to look at this. The best way to look at this is what is the state of the battlefield in Syria and the state of the international mood vis-à-vis -vis what is happening in Syria by the time Clinton uh, or somebody takes over. And that is why the Russians and the Syrian regime are uh, pushing for a most uh, brutal assault, which I think we haven't seen yet uh, mature, uh, but we probably will, unfortunately. They are pushing for this assault in order to take Aleppo, control what is called uh, useful Syria, Surya al-Mufida, and use that as a uh, as leverage for any kind of negotiated settlement that might take place later on, if at all. And by that time, it uh, will actually have raised the bar so much for a U.S. intervention that it would be uh, very difficult to uh, do very much, perhaps besides uh, uh, some sort of settlement, unless a, an all-out confrontation or war is on the table. But it is not on the table now as a function of the problematics of enforcing, for instance, a, a no-fly zone, which is very close to going to war with uh, Russia, which many uh, policy wonks today, or in the past week, for instance, have been saying, oh, it's not such a big deal, the U.S. can take out uh, Russia, and uh, uh, we are underestimating uh, how the threat of credible force by the U.S. Uh, will actually affect uh, Russian responses, perhaps, but also perhaps not. The appetite, however, definitely is not there right now, and definitely not in the next few weeks, for very obvious reasons having to do with the legacy of the Obama administration, which has been described as uh, uh, very problematic for various reasons, but many others differ uh, on whether that was uh, actually the wrong thing to do. The point is that I uh, We have think 30 that seconds. Sure. The point is that I think that what happens on the ground in the next few weeks, in my view, is going to be horrendous. It's going to be brutal, and it's going to, uh, or at least the Russians and the Xin regimes are going to attempt to set the stage for uh, some sort of an irreversible uh, situation territorially. And instead of, uh, uh, in my view, instead of calling for the U.S. to enter into the war, the U.S. can actually place hard pressure on Russia to force its proxies to come to a negotiated settlement in which all forces, all social forces in Syria can actually have a role. And the problem is that the U.S. is probably not willing to do this. It's not ready to do this yet, because it will have to make compromises that it hasn't been ready to make vis-à-vis -vis its own allies and vis-à-vis -vis its other projects in the region, including in Yemen and elsewhere.